Hello again and welcome to the second instalment of CAD Lines Introduction to AutoCAD 2010. Now in this session I'm going to be showing you some of AutoCAD's much improved relationship with the PDF file. Now for the last few releases you've been able to create PDF files straight from AutoCAD but in this release it is again improved. I'm just going to show you in which ways. I've got my drawing I'm going to go to print. Now in my print setup here for the printer plotter we're going to choose the standard DWG to PDF.PC3 file. This is a drive that comes from Autodesk, as it says just there. Just browse through the rest of my settings, they're OK. And once I go to OK, it's going to show me where I want to print. It's going to overwrite that file just there. OK, now once that's written, it will automatically pop up with the PDF that you've created, and it will open it in Adobe Reader. Now as we look down the list here, you can see all of the layers that I had in the drawing. Now that's quite handy. Now what's even more handy is we can actually turn off the layers that we don't want to see. For example, if I don't want to see the dims, I can turn the dimensions off. There we go, fantastic. Now that's certainly a very, very handy tool to have, and any customers or clients could find that really useful. A common problem amongst any design team is the sharing of drawings. Now, a lot of people send DWG files between each other, but some people don't like doing that and they like to keep hold of their drawings so that people can't change them. And so a common way that people send their drawings is using the PDF file. Now, that's okay in some ways, but it's always been a bit of a nightmare when receiving the drawing because there's not a lot you can do with it in terms of AutoCAD. That's all changed now. In this latest release, we can now insert a PDF file much in the same way that we can insert a DWG or DWF file, just here look. and just browse for it there we go, there's one I just created now the drawing I know for a fact that that was a drawn up 1 to 50 scale so I'm just going to scale it by 50 to make it real size, obviously in AutoCAD we draw it 1 to 1 and I'm just going to make sure it inserts at 0, 0 and it rotates at 0 this is very similar to attaching an X-ray Okay, let's zoom extent. There we go. There's my PDF in the drawing. Now, what's special about this is I can zoom in. And it's actually very accurate. But the neatest thing about it, and the tool that is going to help so many people, is that if I do a distance command, watch this, it can actually snap to the lines of the PDF. Look down here the measurements there. Now it's not 100% accurate but it is very very accurate. The problem with PDF files is they don't print out 100%. For that you should use a DWF file. But again this is a very useful tool. You could overlay say a structural engineer drawings into your drawings and then start to use them and start to build around them the parts that you need to, need to build. As you can see if we go to our draw command we can start drawing lines straight off of it much in the way that we just draw normal if it was a DWF or DWG XRF very useful and very powerful tool ok thank you very much this also concludes this session I hope it's been a help to you and I look forward to speaking to you next time thank you very much, bye bye